and welcome to another episode of the SciShow Talk Show. Today we are joined by Emily Grasley, the host of The Brain Scoop. Hey! How are you doing? I'm awesome, how are you? I'm good. Yay. I always sort of dread your appearances on the show <laughs> because I am always super confused. Also, I hate you. Oh. I don't, I, I'm sorry, like when I said dread, you seem so <laughs> sad, but it is not because of you, I promise. It is because I have no, I never have any idea. I can't see the bones the way you see the bones. <laughs> well. Our, one of our visitors for later oh. is crawling around in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super excited to be here, and I hope it's not gonna be too painful because I'm super excited about this specimen here. Okay. And I'm going to hand it We're over gonna to you. try and stomp Hank. It's possibly my favorite specimen in the museum, and I know I say that about While like, I look at this, can you sing the Stump Hank theme song? What is the Stump Hank theme song? I don't know. know. We're, today we're gonna stomp Hank, yay! Sounds good. Okay. Uh, this has weird teeth. Yes. It has super weird teeth. Feel them. Whoa, that's yeah. sharp. Super sharp. That like, makes me think that they continuously grow. Yes, that's a, that's a great observation. They do. These ones are also super sharp, so all of its teeth continuously grow? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. That's not normal. What do you think it eats? I don't, I don't, something hard. Kind of. Something hard to digest. Oh. <laughs> 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 but it's not hard? Well, I was thinking like the like tree matter. Yeah, yeah. That's close. hard? Yeah. Tree is hard? Well, I mean, close. It's like close. those kind of fibrous things. Okay. I'm totally giving it away. You're totally giving it away? Totally you're not away. totally giving it away. <laughs> you always think you're giving me hints and you're not. <laughs> There's so many animals, Emily. It is fairly large. I don't, is it a, uh, is it, is it, does it swim? Yes, it's very good at swimming, surprisingly. Is it, is it, is it, oh god, I, I know what it is, I think. Mm -hmm. No, oh. I don't think I do. Because <laughs> you said surprisingly. Yeah. I thought it was, uh, what are they, what are those things that are like beavers but they're small? Muskrat? No, it's not a muskrat. Muskrat. This is, this lives in a tropical region. I'll give that hint to you. Does it, have I ever lived in a place where it lives? I Does don't Does it know. live in America? Um, South America. Okay, it's okay, okay. So, do I kn do I know what this thing is called? Yes, yes. I'm sure you've seen adorable videos of them on the internet. Is it an otter? No. That's all the adorable videos I watch are otters. Okay, so it lives in a tropical area. Yeah. It is surprisingly good at swimming because otherwise it's not very good at moving. It's a bad land walker yeah terrible moves at a staggering six oh. and a half feet a minute is it a sloth yes it's a sloth it's a head. sloth <laughs> look how crazy its teeth are you would is, sloths are no, so yeah. cute i would not have get super sharp teeth yeah yeah but they're just gonna bite you very slowly yeah it's like no mm, ah. yeah. yes sharp yeah it has to have incredibly sharp teeth because of its diet um, they don't, the things that they kind of eat don't offer them any energy. So it's eating all this plant material and basically that just sits in its guts for weeks at a time. It comes down to the ground to defecate about once a week and it takes a very long time to do so. This is the only time they ever go to the ground. Um, they do everything hanging upside down. They eat, they sleep, they give birth, they mate. Sometimes they'll even die clutching onto a branch and they'll just hang there after they're dead because they're just hanging out. They're, they dislike moving so much that their digits have fused together. So like literally they can't move its two fingers apart. It's just near, near, near. They're so, they're the best. I love sloths. So you said it's a good swimmer. Yeah. I did not know that about sloths. Yeah, yeah. Um, Cause they, they aren't very good at crawling on land. Their, their arms are too long. But when, how do they even end up in the water? Well, I guess if they're evading creatures or if they're trying to expand their habitats, like uh, the average geographical range of a sloth is one or two trees. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, they have to move away from home eventually and they're not very good at walking, so they'll find like a little channel and they'll get in the water. Um, another one of my favorite things about sloths, and I have to share this, is that they have symbiotic relationships with certain species of algae. So there are certain kinds of algae that grow on sloths that are only found in the fur of sloths. And so the, whole, the, the only place that this kind of algae exists is in its fur. It's fascinating. That, that is really weird. Yeah. Also that 
they just have algae growing on them. Well, because that's how yeah. slow they move. Yeah, it's how, because they move slowly, and their fur is a really good insulator against mm -hmm. the rainy season. So then the algae will start to grow on them. It works as a camouflage. It's a great relationship. And then the algae fosters all kinds of little parasites that help keep them clean, and there are whole colonies of moths and insects that live on sloths. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> sloths like are the, so cool. The sloth is the world. Yeah. Yeah. To some of these things. Yeah. That is amazing. So I thought I'd that know, was bring that was in. very that was a very fun one. Good. Thanks. I'm glad you liked it. Now yeah. we're going to be joined by something that isn't a sloth. Yes. But it is also adorable. Yeah, I'm also super excited about this. What do we have here? <laughs> this is Chili Pepper. He is a Patagonian cavy. Oh. <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> this is the third largest rodent in the world. You're a big rodent. And a lot of people think he looks like a kangaroo, and that's mm -hmm. kind of like the way I'm holding him. But mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and set him on the table here. Wow. And you can see that he actually, oh, yeah. he stands like a deer. So he stands on all four. Yeah, you're like a deer bunny. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> would you like a treat? The tablecloth. I would. I would like some tablecloth. <laughs> would you like to feed him a treat? <laughs> hey, Pepper, Chili over pepper. Here. What's this? Can, tablecloth. Can, no, tablecloth is, is my favorite treat. <laughs> <laughs> Nom, nom. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. A He's so cute. <laughs> Look at those eyes. That is an that is an adorable animal. So we actually have his skull here and I want to Well it's to not his skull. It's not it's not his skull. So he's a rodent, so Ooh, he's the third largest rodent in the world. And rodents are, are rodents because of these teeth that they have. Mm -hmm. They have ever growing incisors, two on the top and two on the bottom. And they're going to use those to chisel their food like that. And they have no teeth in the middle. Yeah, I can yeah. just. Yeah. Just two, yeah. Just, just four teeth total. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then they have all these molars yeah. back oh, there. Oh, yeah, those back there. Okay. So that's what he's doing right now. So he's crunching it with his front, and now, right now, he's grinding it back with those very mm. uh, strong jaw muscles oh, back there. Oh, you have cool ears. <laughs> he's those so cool. Ears. And actually, he is pretty friendly. You can actually feel those ears if you'd like. Yeah. Oh, they're hard. They're hard, yeah. They're not soft Sorry. like a rabbit would. Yeah. Oh. See? Yeah. And so they can't actually move those ears different directions like a rabbit can. They just stay that those directions. Um, and so they're going <laughs> to... Oh. <laughs> it, it is hairy, but you're, you're the one that's making it hairy, buddy. Oh, yeah. there you go. <laughs> oh, you are covered in hair. So... South America? South America, yeah. So Patagonia, Argentina. Right. Very tip. They live in the grasslands, edge of the forest there. And they're going to live in herds. And So they the are. They're like, a, they're like deer. <laughs> kind they're of. Like but they have a different, a little bit of a different um, hierarchy or, or system, I guess, social system. They actually are monogamous. They pair for life. Aww. They live about, well, not very long in the wild, maybe four to five years in the wild. But they can live about 15 years in captivity. So they're going to be monogamous, mate for life, and they're going to have, but they're going to have a bunch of pairs together. So they're going to live in a herd. So one pair is going to sit and watch all the babies. Now they make this big hole. So like rabbits, they live in a burrow. It's called a creche, oh. and then down that hole, they all keep their babies down there. But they admit females won't feed each other's fe babies. Oh. They only feed their own. So one will crawl down there and feed the babies. So one pair is going to keep watch, I guess, over the den, while all the other ones go off and eat. And then one pair is going to come back, and they're going to switch uh, patrol, I guess. When you say herd, I think of that scene in The Lion King when the wildebeest come oh, over the cliff. Yeah. And like, I know I'm imagining a herd of, <laughs> of cavies, and I could, it would just be so adorable. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> you can stampede coming. me. <laughs> and these guys, they're not going to hurt anyone. Yeah, yeah. they're not going to. No. Um, they are herbivores, so they only eat... Well, he's eating some apple right now. But in the wild, they eat mostly grasses, different kinds of grasses. Mm -hmm. So he's a, he's a Patagonian cavy. Now, there's a couple different animals in the cavy family. There's the capybara, which is the largest rodent in the world. And there's also another very common animal for a cav in the cavy family. And we actually have his best friend here. His name is Patches. <gasps> and uh, So they like to have, like you like to have chili pepper having company. Yeah, he, he likes like friends. All by himself. They have play dates. They, they live together. Oh, wow. wow. Roomies. Yeah. So we can go ahead and bring Patches on over here. Oh, my God. <laughs> and Emily, would you like to hold Patches? Yeah. Oh, would I? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. I can see why so she's called Patches. <laughs> You're a cavy, too. Oh, my gosh. She is a cavy. And what makes a cavy is four toes oh. in the front, 
and three toes in the back. Yeah, we have three Whoa. toes. Yeah, yeah. some cute guinea pigs as well have those. Yeah, so these so guys adorable. are. So you're a monogamous pair. These two are two boys. They're best of buds. No. <laughs> <laughs> But guinea know. pigs, actually, you wouldn't find one of these guys in the wild. I mean, obviously, yeah. the coloration wouldn't help him very much. They're going to be about the same color as uh, chili pepper here uh, to blend in, and they're going to be a little bit smaller. So people have, uh, come here, Pepper, I'm going to go ahead and pick you up. Um, people have domesticated um, the guinea pig, and they've domesticated it for an uh, interesting reason. Mm -hmm. Just like we've domesticated chickens, they domesticate guinea pigs for food. Oh, and it's uh, the Peruvians have done that. Um, Are you delicious? Is, he's protesting right now. <laughs> saying, I am not delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm handsome. <laughs> you want to do that into the microphone? Oh, so cute. <laughs> 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 and chili pepper, actually, he the cabbies talk like that too. They do those little whistles and grunts and growls and things like that. He also purrs. Well, chili pepper and patches. Uh, thank you so much for visiting us today. I love you. Love your face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and thanks for coming in, Jesse. Thanks for having really us. really fantastic. Yeah. And thank you for watching the SciShow Talk Show. If you want to keep getting smarter with us here at SciShow, you can go to youtube.com slash SciShow and subscribe. Adorable. Yay. Shh.